uh, Russ, uh, obviously here a year on from the uh, passing of Justin. What, what are your feelings on, on this day? Feel better being here than I than I did being at home. Uh, quite reassuring, I think, being in um, certainly when you get to stand in the in the dugout, which is obviously our um, you know the place where we where we shared the, the most amount of memories. So. Um, yeah, didn't know how I was going to feel waking up this morning, um, but, but but a little bit flat. But, but I think being here and being around familiar people and and um, seeing some of the messages of support for for Justin and his family, um, you know, gives you that little bit more of an upbeat feel, I suppose. I guess you've probably been reflecting on maybe certain things and certain parts of, of your journey together today. Yeah, I think it's strange, isn't it, the time of the year because um, there's been so many reflections in terms of you know. The anniversary of getting to Wembley, anniversary of you know winning the league, and and then obviously this anniversary coming around, it's um it's quite surreal. So there's been there's been a lot of reflection of late, but it certainly makes you think of those um those those moments that are not always the ones that everyone's got photos of, and the moments that everyone captures. It's the um the different situations, the laughs, the um the times where you know there's one or two of you, or a certain thing happens that that that, that this is sort of sprung some of those memories back so it's great reflecting on the big ones and the and the, and the, uh, the ones that everyone remembers but for me the more personal ones are the ones that you know that I like to stick with. A bit personally as well for you obviously the fact it's, it's a year on you're now the head coach of Letting Orient how much of everything can kind of change in such a short period of time it's really yeah hard, I mean they say in life don't they that things can change so quickly but I think it's certainly certainly the case in football and, and certainly has been an incredible amount of change in in, in such a short period of time so you know, I'm, I'm incredibly and immensely proud to, to stand here as the head coach. But if I could change it and and, and, and have Justin back and, and us being a, continued to have been in the in the positions that we were, then you know you, you'd do that in a heartbeat. But um, as I say, we all we have to we have to embrace the opportunities and have to embrace the the, the, the times and the situations and. Um, I think the big thing that I'm, that I'm incredibly proud of is, is where we stand today. You know, we've had um, an incredible year. He uh, suffered a huge, a huge loss that, that today reminds us all so much about. But um, I'm incredibly proud of how everybody at the club has has, um, has dealt with the last year. In terms of you on a kind of day-to-day -day basis as, as head coach of this team, how do you kind of maybe keep Justin's kind of legacy going on? It's interesting because there's a number of different ways that that happens. I think again with the obvious things of. Um, you know, photos and, and, and people with, uh, you know, the, the pictures that we have up in, in the training ground or at the stadium and it's well documented that we carry a, a picture of, of the gaffer with us to all away games and stick it up on the wall, you know, things like that are fairly obvious. But I think there's a number of different ways that people do that. I think we all do it as individuals, we all find our different go-to moments or our situations where we do. And I think for me it's the laughs and the jokes, I think it's the, the first thing of the morning when... Um, you first come into contact with someone and like say something funny happens or something different pops up that um, you get that opportunity to carry things through. I think there's so many people at, at this club and, and certainly within the plan and coaching staff that, um, that were so close to him um, and have such fond memories about what, what times he brought for us and, and what we share together. So I think we all have our own individual ways of, of keeping him at the forefront of everything that we do.